I'm Jason. I'm Todd. This is our little child, Ziggy. Say hello, Ziggy. Hi, Ziggy. And we're the Vamping Guys. Are we filming yet? Are we filming? Oh, hey guys, how are you? I am so excited to be sharing some great news. Uh, the last video that we uploaded, we had just moved into the RV resort and we were at our temporary location. But great news guys, we have finally moved to our permanent RV site. We have got all the landscaping done. So today is the day I'm gonna give you guys a tour of everything that we have done on the outside. And we're very, very excited to be sharing it with you guys. Oh, by the way, what do you think of my gray? I have decided to embrace my gray, so I am letting all my color grow out. I've been coloring my hair for uh, quite a few years, and uh, I am just over it. It takes way too much time in my busy schedule. So uh, this is the first time I'm kind of uh, recording and broadcasting uh, with my gray hair. So uh, you guys will have to let me know what you think. Uh, I just got Severus washed and waxed today. I found this gentleman named Fred who lives here in the park and he charges a really, really good rate and he hand washes and he hand waxes RVs here in the park. I'm so excited because Severus is looking the best he's looked since uh, we have had him. So I think we need to get this little landscaping tour started and get to it. Follow me guys, here we go, I'm excited. Woohoo! Here's our baby Severus. Isn't he gorgeous? I tell you, Fred does such an amazing job. He even got down into the little cracks and crevices where uh, the silicone meets the molding and he cleaned all that out. He washed the roof, he washed the awnings, the slide toppers. He just did such an amazing job. Uh, as you can see, we're kind of panning over to our spot here. Oh, and just to give you a little bit of perspective, I'm gonna turn around. I'm not gonna try to make you guys dizzy, but right here, this was our temporary site. And we were here for a little over a month because somebody was over in the site we were waiting for. But now we are in our corner lot, if you will. And uh, we really wanted it at this site, so that's why we waited for it. Uh, because the great thing is that, uh, you know, no one lives on this side and the site right over here, no one really parks there. Uh, people that do park there, they're usually more like weekend campers and they'll just kind of stay for a day or two. But for the most part, we've got nobody on that side of us either. So it's uh, nice to have the extra privacy. Um, we do have a little road that you can see and way down there are the dumpsters. Oop! Check it out! Somebody's coming in. Ha! I spoke too soon. I bet you they're coming into the site I was telling you about, but they're only going to probably be here for a few days. In the summertime, this park empties out because a lot of people are seasonal and a lot of people are snowbirds. So once it starts getting way too hot here in Florida, this park empties out. So it's great because it just even gets more quiet than it already is. Look at the sun glistening. Look how beautiful Severus is. Okay, I think I'll show you guys one side of our tree. We uh, have all these really, really cute little signs that we put up on the tree. Like we found one, follow your dreams, think positively. Oh, right down here, we have some uh, little solar lights that I have wrapped around the tree, and these are multicolored, and they're very, very pretty. 
And we got some little art. Todd likes owls, so we have a little owl guarding our yard. And we got a little turtle, and then we have a little gnome. Hey, gnome, how are you? And then we got these cute little uh, metal flowers, and they spin around. So, coming over on this side. We also have another neighbor. Her name is Pam. And, I don't know, in the future, she said she would maybe be open to letting me interview her and show you her amazing house. But she's an artist. And as a housewarming gift, she made us this rainbow flag with a little peace sign, but it's made out of wood. And she has like some little fabric and things like that, but we have it hanging from the tree. Uh, we also found this really cute little welcome sign that's got a little pineapple on it. It's kind of summery and really cute. Uh, right down here in the corner, we have a little Buddha guy. He's like guarding our little yard for us and giving us good vibes. Oh, he's got something on him. Looks like a piece of dead grass on his face. Yuck. But this is our little Buddha guy. Oh, and you're supposed to rub his belly. So we need to rub his belly for good luck. Okay, coming around through the front. We uh, put down tiny little stone pebbles. We found these really cute little stepping stones. Uh, Todd got them at Ross, of all places. But we have a butterfly, and then we have a really pretty sunflower, and then another butterfly. And right up here is our little Jason, Todd, and Ziggy camp sign. Uh, for all of you guys who have been following us, you're very familiar with our little sign. And then we have these beautiful Gerber daisies. And look at that, we have some little pinwheels that we put up through here. There's actually a really nice breeze today, even though it's hot. Uh, right up here, I found these really pretty blue globes, and they are solar lights. I got these at Homo Depot. And right down there's the charger but they work really good and they probably last a good like six to eight hours once the sun comes down. So here's a little shot of our patio and our little patch of happiness. Uh, coming over here, I figured I would just kind of start from the front and work towards the back. Uh, I got some really, really pretty like hanging flowers. I don't even know what they're called, but I just thought they were really pretty and they're doing well in the baskets. And so is this guy right here. And uh, I also have uh, the little dragonfly kind of hanging right up there. Uh, coming around down to the floor. Speaking of dragonflies, we got these really, really cool mats from Walmart. They were on sale for $30 a piece. And uh, they're outdoor mats. And they're very easy to clean. I'll just kind of hose them off. But we really liked uh, the bright color with the uh, contrast of the white dragonflies. But we thought it looked really, really cool. Now coming around over to this side, I'll show you some of our plants. This is our moss rose. And we have three of them that I planted in canisters. And they are a succulent, and they're so beautiful. They have just all these beautiful blooms. And what's really cool is that when the sun comes out in the mornings, the whole plant kind of moves and follows the direction of the sun as the flowers open up for the entire day. And then at nighttime, the flowers like close back up and the plant kind of starts to droop down as if it's going to sleep. But you can see it's very perky right now because it's uh, seeing the sun and it's like, yay, sunlight, sunlight, time to get some sun. Ooh, speaking of the sun, here it comes back out. I'll kind of come up here so you can see the clouds. 
But see, it's a really, really beautiful, partly cloudy day. But we are in rainy season, and uh, it pretty much uh, rains every afternoon. So that's why I'm trying to get this video done for you, why it's in the morning and the sun's out. All right, let's move around down here. So you can also see uh, this water along here. It was just filled up with like old dirty mulch. So I put some stones down through here because uh, they'll stay nice uh, throughout the years. And they're very easy to blow uh, the leaves off of with a leaf blower. So now, here's a little piece of yard art that we have. This is our little pink flamingo. Uh, there is another couple that lives here, and he makes out of PVC piping, he'll like melt it and cut it and twist it into all these different like shapes. Uh, but he does all kinds of really cool birds. And we bought this amazing pink flamingo from him, and we think it's just beautiful and it really adds to our style of landscaping. Moving on down, here is our other moss rose. But look at it, all the flowers are open and it's facing the sun, but it just moves like this really cool, like octopus. I just love these flowers because uh, they're very, very alive. Alrighty, moving on down. This is the other bird that we bought, and he calls this the Wacky Bird. And I fell in love with this guy because purple's my favorite color. He did this really, really cool, like flowery, like paint on the body. But what made me fall in love with it is look, it has rainbow colors going down the legs. It was meant to be, because you know we love our rainbows. Oh, speaking of rainbows, I saw my first double rainbow yesterday. So panning over this way, this is our little patio setup. We have like a little footstool here, and we have a nice little folding table. I also have uh, this cool little LED bulb that looks pretty at nighttime. Of course, we have uh, our candle for mosquitoes. And I got this little uh, fountain. I'm trying to turn it on. Oop, there it goes. But it's just a cute little rock fountain, which I thought was really, really pretty. But, um, once it gets going and it hits the rocks and starts filling up, uh, it doesn't make that gurgling noise that actually sounds quite nice. All right, I'm gonna turn it off and we will continue. All right, so since we're still on the subject of fountains, I will show you our other water fountain. And this little guy is my favorite. I found it at Lowe's and it is our wedding colors purple and orange but I love this fountain and I put some blue food coloring in the water it's got a little LED light so at nighttime it looks really really pretty but isn't that a beautiful water fountain isn't that pretty and right up here are the other two hanging flowers and that's our screen right there in the back, and I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit and tell you about it. But uh, here's like another angle of our little patio area from this side. But this is our little piece of heaven. We love it. It's just very relaxing and very beautiful. Okay, so let's come around over to this side. Bye, fountain, bye. So right over here, this is our little fantasy tree area. And it was all just dirt and roots. So again, I just took some small pebble stones, kind of filled in the area. And then we found some really cool pieces of outdoor art. Uh, we got all these cute little mushrooms. And it has like little pieces of uh, broken glass in them. Looks really pretty. 
right over here here's another little mushroom here's a turtle right over here some more little mushrooms and here's our another little gnome he's uh, down on this end kind of guarding the place for us uh, we also have some, some multicolored solar lights uh, wrapped around this tree here's this cool little bronze sun that I found I thought that kind of looked really cool right there uh, coming over here is my orchid and it's doing very very well basically the best advice with orchids guys is you know you want to put them in the special uh, bark you know uh, because uh, orchids are actually parasite plants they grow on trees in the jungle so that's why you want to use the special bark down in here and then our next door neighbor gave us an orchid that was dying but I was able to get it to kind of come back to life let me come around this side because the Sun is kind of blinding but right back here I'm getting a new leaf so I'm hoping that I'm gonna get uh, an orchid coming through here but here's my beautiful little orchid isn't that pretty okay so then coming back a little bit uh, this is where we park the vehicles so we wanted to do kind of like a little rock uh, pathway going out as well but we wanted to maximize uh, our yard space so I kind of did it kind of skinnier and skinnier almost like when you're looking down railroad tracks and then we have like a uh, solar lighting we have those uh, kind of around the whole perimeter of the yard there's another one there and another one there Oh, and uh, some of you might be wondering, hey, how do you cut your grass, Jason? I found on Amazon, I keep it right here up under the slide out, but it is this tiny little rechargeable electric mower, and it will run for about 25 minutes. Uh, it's uh, called Sunjo, and uh, I went on YouTube and kind of researched it and uh, they had it on uh, Amazon and I think it was like about 85 to 90 dollars and it's got a little uh, bag uh, holder here you know so you can dump uh, your clippings but this motor uh, the, this lawn mower excuse me has been just working great and it's very quiet and you can lift it just with one hand it reminds me uh, when I was a little kid when uh, your parents would buy you those little uh, cheesy plastic uh, push lawn mowers okay so moving on for any of you who are kind of curious I'll just uh, show you uh, this area but uh, there's a bunch of fifth wheels over here and right over there is another Grand Design Solitude uh, this is where we keep our bikes and there's my little gas can uh, about uh, three weeks ago the first uh, week of June is hurricane tax-free week so I got a really cool generator and I've already tested it out and it will run one of the air conditioning units and uh, everything else will run as well so uh, if we do lose power or have a hurricane uh, knock on RV sidewall let's hope we never get a hurricane because uh, I really don't want to have to deal with that but you know if it happens it happens okay so over in this area this is the other side of our little fantasy little tree area we got a little mushroom right here I'll show you my little sign Todd bought this for me he who plants a garden plants happiness very true and we got another little sign dream and relax so relax people I hope this video is relaxing all of you all right so coming down over to this side here is another pink flamingo and I thought this was really pretty and this is metal and then we have two more of these solar globes and it looks really pretty because we love going for the nighttime effect as well all right this is my pride and joy here's my little raised garden and I got a garden cedar kit it was on sale for like 50 bucks at Lowe's so I didn't have to worry about trying to make it myself 
uh, but I'll just kind of show you some of the vegetables we have. Put some little pinwheels in there. But I've got some rosemary. I've got some sage. I planted by seed some cilantro, but that's starting to grow and looking really good. And then right here I have some basil. And I love iced tea, so I also have some fresh mint. And this thing is growing like a weed. It's doing so well. Uh, a couple of things that aren't doing so well, at least they look like they're not, but they're still growing and they're blooming. I've got some watermelon right here. And you can see I've got some flowers. Right there's a little watermelon flower. And then right here I also have some cucumber. And then right back there I have some yellow summer squash. And then coming over here, here is some fresh oregano. And this is also growing like a weed. And you can see it is starting to flower. So the oregano is doing very, very well. And we'll come out here and just uh, clip little pieces of some different herbs and use them in our cooking. And it's really nice to be able to do that. Uh, right here, I also planted some seed. I thought, what the hell, I'll try. But I planted some scallions. And right now, they just look like blades of grass. So we'll see how that goes. And then right over here, oop, there's another pinwheel. I planted a marigold because uh, between this and also uh, all the fresh herbs, these are natural insect repellents. And so far, I haven't had any issues with uh, the bugs like coming and eating my vegetables. Uh, I've got some more rosemary right here. Oops, sorry about my shadow. And then I have two green peppers. And you can see, look, check it out. I've got this beautiful green pepper here. And look how huge the sky is down here. I've got another green pepper right here. And then I got some red sweet Italian peppers and you can see I've got uh, one right here and I have another one growing right here and this guy looks like he should be starting to turn red soon because it's big and then right down here I have two patio tomatoes I think all the rain kind of affected them but they're finally starting to grow new tops so we'll see if I get some tomatoes and then I have two cherry tomatoes, and these guys are doing really, really good. Look at all the tomatoes. We've already been picking a bunch of tomatoes off of these and putting them like in our salads and things like that. So uh, these two plants have been making quite a few tomatoes for us already, and we're very happy about that. Um, let me uh, show you the grass. Another thing that we did is that we put down fresh sod. This was all just pretty much dirt. Um, you can see I am getting some brown patch. It's a uh, fungal disease. Because of all the rain we've been having, uh, I was noticing I was starting to get brown spots. But I put down some fungicide and it definitely uh, stopped it from spreading. All these areas are starting to uh, begin to grow again and fill in. So I'm very happy about that. Right over here, I planted some Mexican petunias. I was always told these guys were called bluebells, even though they have like really pretty purple flowers. I planted these guys along the uh, edge because uh, they'll become more thicker and fill in, become like a natural hedge. And uh, I don't even know what these are called, but they get huge. I mean, these things grow up to like six, seven feet tall. So uh, I thought they would look good, kind of creating, again, a natural border once they start filling in and growing. Uh, because over on this side is the huge parking lot. Down there's the dumpsters that I showed you uh, earlier in the video. Some people park their trailers and their boats along here. And then all back here are RV sites and people will park behind their rigs. So a lot of people do not drive around this way, but when we're out on the patio, we wanted to do kind of more of a, uh, a natural border with plants so it'll help to kind of block the noise and uh, give us a little bit more privacy. 
when we're sitting outside on the patio. And speaking of privacy, Todd made this beautiful by hand privacy screen and it's more designed just to help with um, giving us a little bit of shade in the mornings and just a little bit of privacy again when we're sitting out because you know when people do kind of drive around which isn't often um, you know it'll uh, just kind of block off our main uh, patio area and uh, just uh, make it look a little bit nicer uh, when we look out behind it as you can see there's just a fence and some woods I mean you know obviously it's a beautiful view of just the woods but we like this view better but uh, Todd made this by hand he painted cinder blocks he created the posts and they detach very very easily to be able to store if uh, we get high winds or if you know we happen to get a hurricane which again knock on wood please no hurricanes and then Todd found this outdoor canvas that he hand painted with wa uh, weatherproof paint and then he put holes in the fabric here I'll come around on this side he put holes in the fabric and put these hooks to hang the fabric so I'll just kind of back up a little bit and let you kind of see how everything looks also from a distance but here's the one end with our little raised garden uh, this is our little patch of paradise so we'll come back up to the privacy screen and I'll let you guys see this a little bit better and uh, oh another thing that Todd did he doesn't hook all the ends he'll leave it a little bit loose so uh, you know the wind will have less resistance when it's kind of blowing and hitting it fortunately has not tipped over yet but uh, it came close a few times so we decided to uh, just unhook a few of the corners so it can kind of uh, flap a little bit more and uh, hopefully fingers crossed never tip over but uh, right down here Todd also painted cinder blocks and he put on the base that he did uh, to add some more weight to it so it wouldn't tip over. Ugh. See right here, this is a really bad brown patch area. But you can see if I come down here, look, I'm starting to get some baby pieces of grass coming through because a brown patch, it just kills the grass at the uh, stem. It doesn't go down into the roots. So the roots are alive. Uh, the brown patch just kills the top of the grass, but that fungicide is really working because uh, it's already really starting to grow and fill in. But right in here, this is kind of like one of the worst spots of the brown patch. So uh, it's said to apply every two weeks, so next week I'm going to be applying uh, a little bit more fungicide. But uh, it's definitely starting to fill in and it's looking a lot better. Uh, I'll just show you kind of over here this little spot. I'm just trying to give you guys a few little different um, perspectives as I'm walking around. But here's another shot of our little patio area through this way. There's the little wacky bird. Hey wacky bird. And there's the little pink flamingo. So we're almost done with the video. And I thought I would just show you the other side of the tree. But Todd painted these two pieces of art and he used outdoor uh, paint. Uh, we also found this cool sign that says good vibes only. And this is one of my favorites. If not now, then when? And that was our motto. We're like, you know, we could wait until we retire. What the hell? We need to do it now. And I got some cute little wind chimes. And then this is one of my favorites. It, I just like the sound it makes better. But it's got like a little dragonfly right there. And then right up here is the other uh, piece of art that Todd painted. Uh, here's another cute one. This is kind of cheesy, happy as a clam. And then home sweet home. 
And then my favorite and a great way to end the video today is guys, be awesome today. So I hope all of you take this to heart because all of you are amazing. Love yourself. Always be awesome today and every day. So with all of that said, you guys have a glamtastic day. And until next time, you guys stay tuned. Bye everyone. Bye Severus. You are taking good care of us. Mwah. I love you. See you guys. Bye. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you. Ah!